everyone. So today I am in a little bit of a different location because I have a special guest with me. And if you can see him in the background, he is in his spot. It is Bentley. And I've been getting a lot of requests from you guys to do more vlogs. Oh, he's coming to do more vlog style videos and lifestyle videos. And even though my channel did start as a beauty and fashion and lifestyle channel, I do want to start including some other things. I've always used my channel as kind of a little bit of a diary. And so today I'm going to be doing the furry friends tag. <laughs> he looks traumatized with my little Bentley. I'm also going to be doing an unboxing of the Bark Box. This is going to be our second one. And last time we opened it, Bentley loved it. So basically, if you haven't heard of Bark Box, Bark Box is a subscription box for dogs. So you can probably guess it. You get a bunch of different dog kind of like products in one box and really the price of the products in the box add up to much more than $19 plus it's a fun little thing to do for your dog I mean I have three dogs so but Bentley is the only one who calls me mommy so that's why I'm doing this video with him but all the dogs will enjoy the bark box boxes as they have been for the past couple months because they seriously love it it's really fun and it can be anything from like dog treats to hygiene products to toys or biscuits and what I also love about BarkBox is that they give back to doggies in need which is really good because I know this might sound bad to a lot of people but for me my charities of choice are always like dog shelters or animal shelters. I have a really soft spot for animals I always have and I know some people say oh you eat meat or oh you wear leather and that's hypocritical. I always want to donate to dogs and like dog shelters and I can honestly say that even though my dogs now except for Coco, um, Coco is my beagle and he was adopted. My two other dogs, Chase the Rottweiler was from a breeder and Bentley was from a breeder but I know in the future all my dogs will be from adoption sites because I feel like that is the right thing to do. So now that I've rambled on a little bit about that, basically how BarkBox works is they have like different size boxes for the size of your dog. So they have four different sizes. They have tiny, small and cute, just right and big and bold. So I mean I have dogs in all those ranges. I think I decided to either get the like the middle one or the small one because I did get this mainly, mainly for Bentley. So they have different plans that you can get depending depending on what you want to spend. One bark box per month costs $29 or you can do like a whole year plan and that will get you a box for $19 a month over the course of a year. So if it's something you're interested in and you want to buy your dog something fun, that'd be a really good idea. And this also would make a good okay, gift. So like now enough rambling, let's open the box. I'll get my little coaster right here to come and join me. I think he knows this is for him because his tail is wagging and he's so excited. Wow, is this box number two for you? <gasps> come here, come here. Are you excited? He's so excited. What are you doing? Okay, let's see. Oh, a carrot. What's this? This is a pet lifestyle and you carrot. <gasps> he's like sitting. He's so excited. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Okay, there is a mini turkey leg and it's wrapped like in a real, like what you would see it in a grocery store. Well, I don't really see plain turkey legs, but there's a fish, there's a steak, and then there's a turkey leg. You want to see your new turkey leg? Oh, he's... Yeah. Oh, he's so excited. And then this is a Charchio hip and joint dog chew, four to five inches. So this is a tasty and functional treat. Come here, you. Come here. A functional treat. So you'll get this. It smells meaty. Next thing is a kitchen sink organic dog biscuits, key ingredients, apples, pumpkin, bananas, peanuts, carrots, cinnamon, and flax. He never eats biscuits. We always give him biscuits. And then he takes it to his chair in one of the living rooms and he just stashes them. So he probably won't eat this, but he'll take it and bring it. Yep. Oh, no, he brings it somewhere else and just looks at it. It's very bizarre. I think the last thing is this little beef pizzle stick. Superior Farms Pet Provisions. From our farm to your pet. So Bentley will get this eventually. So that was an unboxing of our Bark Box box. And as you can tell, Bentley really loves all his new toys. He loves toys and I honestly I find that carrot thing so cute. And if you're interested in spoiling your pup with a BarkBox box, I will leave the link for it down below. It's not an affiliate link or anything. I just think it's a really cute thing to try for your dogs. So I have the questions here on my iPad. Question number one is what is your pet's name? So as you guys know, my dog's name is Bentley. So question number two, what kind of pet is it and what breed? So as you can tell, this is my dog, Bentley, and he is a Pomeranian with a fox face. I get a lot of questions about what kind of dog he is, and he is a Pomeranian. There are two kinds of different faces with Pomeranians. There's a teddy bear face with like a face that's like 
smushed in. It's really cute too. Um, and that's kind of like the face that Boo has, like that famous Pomeranian. But Benley has a fox face and personally that's what I prefer. Number three, how long have you had your pet friend? Uh, whew, I got him the summer before I went into grade 11. I think it's gonna be, it's three years. Three or four years. You kind of lose count with these sort of things, but I think three or four years. Number four, how did you get your pet? This is a story that my mom loves to tell because when I was younger, my dad promised me that when I turned 16 years old, I could get like my own dog. And when we made this agreement, I was really dead set on a Yorkie. And then my cousin Tiffany got a Yorkie and he was really, really cute, but he's very fragile. And I have two other dogs. I have a Rottweiler and a Beagle. And so I was kind of nervous to be honest. So I ended up like still holding on to my little Yorkie obsession. But when Lorraine Stanek started vlogging, she got a Pomeranian named Clyde. And I just thought it was the cutest dog ever. And I fell in love. So when it was time for me to get my dog, because my dad had promised me and my dad always keeps his promises, I ended up wanting to get a Pomeranian instead. Number five, how old is your pet? He was born March 18th, 2011. So he's almost four. Yeah, I think four of my... I think four. I think he's either three or four. Um, I, again, I can't remember when I graduated high school, so I would say he's around three right now, but he's going to be turning four, my big boy. Number six, what are some quirky things about your pet's personality? He is just serious. He seriously has the biggest personality of any dog I've ever met, and anyone who ever meets him, except for my boyfriend, my boyfriend and him, do not have a great relationship because Bentley gets very, very jealous. Um, but everyone who meets him falls in love instantly and it's because he has like the biggest personality and he is so funny like in the mornings when he sleeps with me and when he wakes up and he wants me up he will sit on top of my head and brush his paw against my face and like if we say something that he doesn't like he'll kind of like swat us like not hard but he'll swat us with his little paw like Doo! and it's really precious. And then also he sits on his chair in one of our living rooms he sits on his chair which has like a view to the front of the house and if anything passes by he will start barking and it's very annoying but we always joke and say that he's like a little guard dog my dad got him a shirt that said security on it he literally thinks that he's a rottweiler and before we got him we are all really nervous about get bringing such a little dog because when i got him he was only like four pounds so we were nervous about bringing such a little dog to in like to a, a house with a rottweiler honestly he became like leader of the pack. Bentley thinks that he can intimidate anything and everything. Like Number seven, what does your relationship with your pet mean to you? People say that they don't like dogs. I just, I don't understand. I've had dogs my whole life and, but especially with this dog, like my love for him just knows no bounds. And I know that sounds crazy, but honestly, I love him so much that, I mean, obviously I know that a child, like a human child, um, doesn't compare to a dog because I know he's a dog but in my mind he's like my little baby and I can't imagine loving something as much as I love him and I know that sounds crazy but like literally I sometimes I just want to like squeeze him so hard he just brings me so much joy and I could like cry talking about this but I am gonna start crying and it's so bad but I just like I love him more than anything. Just like it's a different kind of relationship. His little body and his little soul just He just literally Can bring me so much happiness like if I'm sad he knows I'm sad and he'll just come curl up on me He just seriously is the best gift that I have ever been given like he it really is like the best gift I've ever been given and so now that I look like a sap and a crazy woman who cries about her dogs I'll continue. Number eight, what are some of your favorite pastimes with your pet? I love watching him play because he's not your typical Pomeranian. He's very rugged. Like he'll literally jump on my bed, jump off my bed. If I have him on a counter and he wants to get down, he will jump off the counter. We have this big leather sofa in another living room and he will like jump on the top of it. He is a little monkey. So I, like, I just love watching him play and watching him, like, you know, do his thing and just, like, live life to the fullest because he really does. Another thing that we love doing is going to the mailbox. My mailbox is uh, not on my house. It's, like, one of those, like, not community mailboxes, but, like, you have a key that you go. And I don't know how it started, but I walk to the mailbox, like, every day. 
just around the corner from my house. And so every day I'll like pick him up and we'll go walk because he doesn't really like to walk on a leash. We have a big backyard so he is active all the time. But he doesn't really like to walk on a leash. But now whenever he hears like the male keys, he starts running all over the house going wild because he wants to come. Uh, come with me and like if I don't come if I'm not like gonna pick him up he starts crying and he like knows it's so weird and so crazy how he knows that that's where we're going and so he loves one of the mailbox with me I love when he cuddles he's a very active dog so he's not like a very he's not a sedentary dog like I thought he would be he's very very active always moving always running always jumping always running around he does get in these cuddle moves where he'll just lay on my chest and like nuzzle me that's my favorite thing to do but i just love being around him number nine what are the nicknames that you call your pet i have so many nicknames ben benny benny bear uh honey bear sometimes i call him keys to the bends i don't know why it's really weird but i'll just like call him keys to the bends trouble those are the main ones that i call him and they're interchangeable so thank you guys so much for watching our free friends tag and bark box unboxing and i'll see you in my next video